I'm going to quickly walk you through how to reset this to defaults and reconfigure this Polycom VVX 400. You go into the home button on the side, you go to settings, and I'm gonna dial my way through this. So you go to two, enter the password, default is uh, 456, and then it's one for administration settings, then five, five, and reset to factory, are you sure? Yes. And it reboots. And this takes forever, so I'm gonna end this recording and pick it up when it reboots. Okay, once the phone gets back to this screen, you wanna cancel this start application process. And then you wanna hold down 153 and enter the password. Now the password at once is the password on the back of the phone. It's the MAC address. Here's the MAC address. It's that 0004F2901681. We'll enter that in the password on the front string. We're gonna enter the password we got from the back of the phone, which is the MAC address. In this case, it's 0004 and then it's F, so we need to switch this. So we have capital letters now. And we're gonna hit F, so it's one, two, three, pressing this one, two, three times to get to the F. Then we wanna go back to numbers. See, if you push it again, it goes to lowercase letters, and that's a big mistake people make, and they finish trying to dial the password, but you need to push it again to get numbers. And we'll continue with the password, which is 290. 1681 and then it's resetting the configuration and you're going to have access now to the web interface but well it's rebooting and polycoms take a long time to reboot so I'm going to stop this video okay the phone is finally restarted we're going to go back into the home screen to get the IP address go to settings Type one for basic. Oh no, we don't want to go to basic. We want to go to status. So four for status, two for network, one for IP address. And now we have the IP address there on my network here is 192.168.10.102. All right, so here we go. We're going to jump into the phone from that IP address. So you open up a browser, type in the IP address, and you'll see this screen here and you type in the default address, or sorry, the default password, which is 456. And then you jump into the screen here. We'll go into simple setup because this is going to be a simple setup. First thing we can do, we don't have to do this, but it's a nice thing to do because we're probably gonna wanna do it eventually. And we're gonna type in server address, which I'd like to mask. So let's type in the server address. There's no outbound proxy. We don't use a, a proxy to connect to our servers. We connect directly. In this case, just for, like I said, it's a simple setup. We're not going to do anything fancy with using proxy servers. The display name, um, just make it the extension number. The only thing we're gonna use in this case is um, three things. We need the server address, we need the extension, and we need the password for the extension. Those are the three things we primarily need. And the label, save that, and it connects right away. Now, I'm not going to show you the Polycom screen, but if you did exactly what I did, and you have the right credentials, meaning you have the server address for your phone server, the extension, and the password, that's all you need. You don't need the time synchronization, even though it's helpful. And the only other two things I like to change, <clears throat> I like to change the lines. So we go into the settings for that. And I like to assign more than one line key. So I always do two. You can, on the 400, this has 12 lines on it. I'm not gonna use all 12 lines for the line keys. I'm gonna use two. And then I'm gonna also go to the SIP. Let's save this first. 
I'm going to go to the sip and I'm going to change the timeout. Where is the timeout on the server one? You see how that information that I typed in there is in that server one section. I'm going to change the timeout just to, I usually go to 60 or 100 or, th or 300, something less than the five minutes. And that's that. It doesn't require a reboot. It just takes, all those settings just take without a reboot on the Polycom phones. One of the biggest problems I have with the Polycom phones, they're really solid and they're probably the some of the best phones. I primarily use Cisco phones, but I, I like the Polycoms just as much as the Cisco's, except for the Polycoms are a real pain in the ass to configure if you don't know what you're doing, which is why I'm, I'm demonstrating this for you. And the other thing is they take forever to restart. So it's really nice that um, these Polycoms don't need to restart when you reconfigure them.